what should the Detroit Lions do with their offensive coordinating position? We talked about this yesterday. Promoting Ben Johnson seems to be the right thing to do at the moment. And I would prefer them to get rid of Anthony Lynn and promote somebody internally who's clearly making a significant impact. Yep, I agree with you. And I don't care that he doesn't have experience calling a full... <coughs> I, look, this kid is coming up with a passing scheme over the last three, four weeks that you haven't seen all year. With this The, the amount of roster. ease... Yeah. That it is to make some of these throws because how open people are, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I am going to stand in the corner of promoting Ben Johnson. And for everybody that says Deuce Daly in the chat, stop. Deuce Staley's not the one ha helping Dan Campbell right now put together the passing game plan. Stop it. Washington let Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay, and Matt LaFleur walk out of that building. May I remind you, the Washington football team let Matt LaFleur, Sean McVay, and Kyle Shanahan walk out of that building because J Jay Gruden was too good of a head coach. Huh? Too good of a coordinator, offensive-minded coordinator. I would prefer them to take a flyer on the guy internally who has shown he can actually do a pretty decent job. Give him the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Then go out and we regret another year down the line where he's the OC in Vegas. He's the OC in Seattle. Who knows where he could be? Just my two cents. <clears throat> Just my two cents. No, I couldn't agree with you more. And yesterday I was a little hesitant. I came on the show. I was talking about Ben Johnson and I said... Let's just take a chill pill for a second because I want to do my research on Ben. I didn't want to jump on the bandwagon right away, but all last night I was researching Ben and I wanted to know the brains behind the operation in which he's created the success of this passing game because obviously we know him as a tight ends coach. I want to do some history and it's impressive. I, let me remind you, Jared Goff, since coming back from that oblique injury, nine touchdown passes, two interceptions with a passer rating of 105.1. The only quarterbacks with a better passer rating through that stretch, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Matthew Stafford, ironically. Um, it's a pretty good, pretty good uh, category to be in. And some of that has to do with Josh Reynolds, obviously. It's not all Ben Johnson, but Ben Johnson deserves credit because he was instrumental not only you know this year, last couple games, but people forget he was the tight ends coach in, in, through T. Jackson's breakout year. I mean, this guy has, you know, guys like Amon Ross St. Brown, Jared Goff can't say enough good things about him, uh, the way he sees the game. I mean, look at this. Since helping out with the pass game, he's already brought more creative ideas, which we preach all the time, more creativity. And, and look at that 23-yard touchdown catch to Brock Wright in the Minnesota game. He motioned the fullback, pulled the backside guard, got Brock open, and he's a tight ends coach. So he's familiar with, obviously, with the tight ends already. And even, let's go back to last game. How about the player Ramon Ross St. Brown pretending to pass block, leaked away for a 37-yard touchdown? He gave credit to Ben Johnson for that. So these, this is constant evidence that the Detroit Lions may already have their future offensive coordinator a part of their organization. And, and yesterday, listen, I, I, would, I made the point that I'm a little hesitant to, to promote someone within, but I think the point you just made is, is countered me last night because I was thinking about it. Why not? And why would you let him walk? What's the, what's the risk, right? What's the risk? There you go. Detroit, do you actually expect to make the playoffs next year? Realistically, no. Right? Cool. Glad we're on the same page. There is a young man who very well could be. Again, and this is just from, we're not even behind the scenes. And you can see the potential. Mm -hmm. Do not let potential walk out of your building. I t I'm telling you guys, Washington. Ask everybody in Washington how they feel right now. What they could be with Antonio Gibson, Terry McLaurin, maybe even a franchise quarterback had they had different people in charge. Sean McVay, Matt LaFleur, Kyle Shanahan. You don't let that walk out of your building. Ben Johnson, I'm not saying he is going to be them, but he could be. And he knows the he offense. Has, he has the potential. He know, And let me make this point. He knows the offense because this is a guy that not only was a tight ends coach. I looked at his history. Obviously, in Miami, he was with Dan when he was the interim head coach. This is a guy who was an assistant quarterback coach. He's been a wide receiver coach for multiple seasons, tight ends coach. He was a, um, a quality control coach for the offense. And now he's a pass game coordinator. So this is a guy that, in my opinion, 
has done his dues. He's, he's put in the work, and he's, he's covered multiple positions on the offensive side, and this is a guy who was, you know, played quarterback in college, wasn't that good of a quarterback, but he's familiar with the position, and, and that's a, a great candidate. You just made the point about, you know, Matt LaFleur, Sean McVay, those guys, Shanahan. The, you, ben Johnson, not saying he's to that, to that level, but I'm saying is you don't want to take that chance, and I think it's worth it. You know, give him a chance. You've seen what he can do. Jared Goff put, is willing to, um, you know, put his name out there for Ben Johnson, so um, I, I love it. I'm not going to say he's going to be the next big OC, but I think he's deserving of a shot. 35, 35 turning 36? Years old, young guy. Guys, that's what you want. That's what you want. You want a guy that, again, what makes Kyle Shanahan so, so good? Right? Let's just use him as an example. Oh, well, he's just using his dad's scheme. No, he's not. He took his dad's zone blocking scheme, of course, and the run game. And he revolutionized it to an extent. And then he added the modern game of football in it. And now here you are with the San Francisco 49ers. Already been to a Super Bowl, now 8-6 and six this year. Sean McVay. They, they've, they all copycat each other and then add their own twists. And if for me, if I can get Ben Johnson in the door... I, I don't even I, I, I don't even hesitate. I really don't. I don't care what OCs are available. I don't care about Joe Brady. I don't care about any of these guys. There's somebody internally who's actually making an impact right now. And all I hear is the potential he has. Do not let potential walk out of your door. That's simple. You do not let potential walk straight through your doors. Unacceptable. So yeah, yesterday we brought it up. I don't blame people for being hesitant. I don't mind that. But I think the more you guys look at it, the more you'll understand that, okay. You know what? Yeah. This is there's a really good chance we may drop the ball if we don't promote him. And I saw in the comment section Anthony Lynn staying next year. Absolutely not. No, he's gone. Done. Guys, you don't get demoted at a company and stay. Let's start there, huh? <laughs> Let's use, like, just common sense real life. You are the, I don't know, the head of data for IBM. All right? And then you get demoted to the regional manager of data in the Western Hemisphere. I don't know. I'm just talking here. You don't stay at IBM. People aren't willing to fall from their original position. They aren't. Anthony Lynn is not willing to be an offensive assistant. <laughs> He's not. People who are managers, leaders, they are 99.9% .9 of the time unwilling to take a step back and go down to, I don't want to say employee level, but the point is, you're not a fit for this position. You're not involved anymore. You're not a fit for this position. You're not involved anymore. And then they stay. They never stay. Because that loss of power, that how, do, how do you look your coworkers in the face the same? Anthony right. Lynn walking out there, he used to tell everybody what to do last year. Now this year, he's being told what to do. You think he wants to be a part of that? Nobody does, guys. We're, they're humans. They're humans. These guys got egos, too. Like, it, it's just the reality of it. I mean, Anthony Lynn is going to have an opportunity somewhere, whether it's collegially or, you know, I don't think he's going to want to stay, especially, you know, Ben Johnson getting promoted and everything, but... <clears throat> ben Johnson, man. I mean, it's an interesting story. This is a guy who's put in work. So, and J credit to JGB for proposing. We talked about this during the, the mailbag yesterday, and it really is a hot topic right now because, you know, people are already asking the question, when are you going to interview? When is this guy going to get promoted? And, you know, if you, if you keep... It should be done mid-season. And it should be known for Don't now. let him interview in the off-season. Yeah, yeah that, I, I, I would a, do it. I, I okay. wouldn't do it either. I would do it as soon as... I, I would do it before the season ends.